Hello, my name is Kerry Arth, and today we are going to talk about that whole Primarius Calgar thing and the fact that this could actually genuinely herald the end of the standard Space Marines. And if it does, what form will that take? How will they be phased out? How will things progress from here? What are we likely to see as they are essentially slowly replaced with Primaris counterparts? So, the Vigilus Open Day, there is the reveal of a Primaris version of Marnius Calgar. He is now a, a even thicker boy than he was before, um, as he has been primaris -ified. which, for a start, is confirmation that older space means can be upgraded to become primaris, which opens the floodgates. I mean, it's a cool model, and I like the fact that you can upgrade uh, older space means to primaris marines, it it's better than them just disappearing um, or having to get killed off so that new primaries characters can be introduced. After all, if you can keep the old stable of characters, you have, well, you have a lot of reference material. And of course, you have a, a bunch of people who already like those characters who might probably eventually come around to the idea of them being Primaris and not standard. I mean, we now have Primaris, Kalgar, and so essentially... We are, we are now open to the fact that you can have, for instance, a Primaris version of Dante, um, or, or Mephiston, or Lysander, or Belial, or, you know, name any of these Space Marine characters, they can be upgraded. They are not going to be standard forever. The chances are that we will slowly see each of the big name Space Marine characters become upgraded, they will have a Primaris version of their model, their rules will change, and with it, standard space marines will be phased out now this is something that to be honest i've i've said endlessly i don't know how many times i've said that at some point we will see the end of standard space marines i genuinely have lost count at this point it's something that has been repeated over and over again not just by me obviously by a lot of people and every now and again we will get something like the space marine hero stuff where people go oh and you say that they're going to be squatted but look at this I've never said it was going to be instant. I've never said that Primaris have shown up and immediately we will have all of the normal Space Marine stuff just removed from the store, never to be seen again. No, it's going to be slow. It's going to be a slow replacement, piece by piece, of the old Space Marine line, and eventually Primaris will be the only things for sale. Um, and Calgar becoming the next kind of Primaris big deal is part of the stepping stone of that process. Here's something that is going to not set it off, but it's just one more little kind of step down the road to that happening. The question is, how is it going to happen? Like, because it's it's going to happen at some point. How? Well, we've had the upgrade of Calgar. We've had the upgrade of his Honor Guard. In fact, his Honor Guard now Primaris as well, which also means that we now have Primaris with a Storm Shield and a Power Sword. I mean, we had Power Swords before, but Storm Shield is an interesting addition. Um... We know from the Imperial Fist box that we have got a Power Fist in that set, so there is now a Power Fist option. Um, well, a sprue for it outside of just the Captain one, and I believe it's just a Lieutenant holding it. I don't think it's a Captain holding it in the in the uh, Imperial Fist Battle Force box that'll be out for Christmas. Um, what we're most likely going to see, I would have thought, is more character upgrades. There will be things happening whereby we will see the the bigger names. Um, be upgraded one by one we might start to see things like space moon equivalents that we don't have in terms of primaris yet so it's not strictly accurate but roughly roughly speaking you could class the intercessors as being a a tactical squad equivalent i know they're not really because the tactical squad has got more options they've got a special weapon they've got a heavy weapon intercessors don't have that they've just got called Magnificent Bolt Guns that have got an extra 6-inch range on them. Um, and you could, again, argue that Hellblasters are a, a a replacement for the Devastator squads. Again, you don't have the choice, you don't have the variety of weapons, you've only got the plasma guns, you haven't got any all this lands cannon stuff, you haven't got missile launchers or heavy bolters or any of that, I know that. But... Those are two battlefield roles that Primaris now have covered. Reavers, um, I was going to say, I guess they'd be the replacement for Scouts, but I don't think, I don't know if that's really that accurate, so to speak. I don't know if, I'd say 
Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what I would class Reavers as being the replacement for. I think they might be along with along with um the Inceptors, kind of a a an actual new thing. I mean, Inceptors are not a replacement, for instance, for um for just assault marines. They don't have the same role. They don't have the same close combat bite or anything like that. Squad size is obviously smaller. Um, they they perform a slightly different function. Um, that being said. There is already precedent for Primaris Marines being given backpacks, jump packs. Inceptors have them. So it would be quite easy for there to be a genuine full-on replacement for Assault Marines in Primaris form. Which, I've seen a few people say Reavers are, but I don't really think that's the case. Reavers seem to be sort of in a weird halfway point between... Like a midway point between kind of Assault, Tactical and Scout. They're, they're a weird unit to me. I'm not I'm not sold on them personally, but... What we're probably going to see is just the slow replacement of different Space Marine squads. We have the Repulsor, which is kind of half Rhino, half Land Raider. It's a weird vehicle. It's it's far too expensive to be a transport, but it's the only transport they have. It also has far too many guns to be a transport, so people shoot the shit out of it immediately. It kind of defeats the point of it trying to transport people around. Um, but there are already... There is essentially enough there for you to field a full Primaris army. You don't have the same choice, you don't have the same scope, you don't have the same breadth of units as Space Marines have, and of course you can stick like, you can stick flyers in without much of an issue and it doesn't look particularly off, um, but it will most likely be we start to see characters get slowly replaced by Primaris versions of themselves. We start to see some of the, some of the more kind of specialized options from the Space Marines range becoming maybe a bit more homogenized with Primaris equivalents that aren't exactly the same but kind of fulfill a very similar role to the extent where, you know, you could take either feasibly and eventually, probably after, I'd say, I, I'd say there's still a while. I'm not saying this is an imminent thing, but with Calgar it does feel as though it's, it as though the process has properly begun. Um, for you know the removal of standard space marines, it's obviously not going to be tomorrow. It's probably not even going to be in six months. It might not even be in a year. But probably within a couple of years, we will actually start to see the space marine range shrink, the primaris range, even though it is space marines as well, I know, um, grow. And at some point, maybe a space marine squad will go... It will go out of stock. And then it won't go back in stock. And then maybe sometime down the line we'll start to see, you know, made-to-order Space Marine stuff because you just can't get them on the store anymore. Now, whether people like that or not is an entirely different matter. But I think it's fair to say that whilst there is a lot of talk about how disliked Primaris are, especially on the internet, like we're very good at being quite insular on here, let's be honest, they are undoubtedly selling ridiculously well. And the fact that we are seeing very little in the way of actual new releases for just standard Space Marines, I think, is incredibly telling. When you look at the way that things have worked in the past, it's a very good indicator that they are just not in favour at Games Workshop anymore. And for good reason, because Games Workshop have said, here is this new version of this, and everyone's gone, oh man, okay, I'll try it, and then they like it despite what a lot of the vocal kind of uh, side of this hobby says quite a lot of the time, they are undoubtedly a huge success. They also follow all of what I would class as the, the newer rules for making things easier for Games Workshop and for especially new players. You don't have that option paralysis. You don't have that choice of trying to specialise your intercessors because they just do one thing. You don't have that option of trying to work out whether you want all missile launchers or bolters or heavy bolters or uh, last cannons on your devastator squad because you get hell blasters and they've just got plasma guns and that's what they've got it's the same thing with building your own hq the number of choices that a primaris captain gets is way lower than a space marine captain but that makes it a lot easier for people to just buy the thing and that's what they've got it's an approach that i both think works and doesn't work because anything that gets people into the hobby and is simpler for people to get to grips with and get them playing quicker, I quite like. I like the idea of it anyway. The practice of it is a little bit different because I don't want that choice taken away from anyone, let alone new players. So, in a way, Primaris... 
Primaris have turned out to be quite weird, and there is also an a, like an extra added thing of weirdness to this whole this whole situation, which is that Primaris were introduced essentially as a way to, you know, true scale Space Marines. Space Marines have been like weirdly small for the longest time; they should be bigger than they are. And Primaris did fix that, but instead of it being like a new mark of armor, it was an entire new version of the Space Marine, which it was an interesting way to take it and. I don't have anywhere near as big a problem with the law as a lot of people do. Um, but then we've seen the slow scale scree- scree- creep of the Chaos side of things anyway. Thousand Suns are taller than standard Chaos, Chaos Marines. They're taller than standard Space Marines. Death Guard have been scaled up slightly. The new sculpts from Blackstone Fortress have been scaled up. They are now approaching what a Space Marine should be in terms of height and stature. And yet they don't have any of the primary stuff. They're not, like, bigger because they've been messed with. They're not bigger because, you know, some mad batshit tech priest went off on one and, you know, created them bigger. They've just been slowly scaled up. Which begs the question, why was that not done with Space Marines? There's a whole bunch of theories around that. I mean, Space Marine is not exactly copyrightable, but Primaris is, is quite a big one. Um, But it does feel a little odd. It feels odd to get a Primaris version of Kalkar, a Primaris version of his Honor Guard, which to me signals the slow start of the replacement process for normal Space Marines, um, however long that takes. And yet at the same time, we have examples of new Chaos Sculpts that raise the scale. They make them bigger, but they just don't mention it. Like the new, especially the new Backstone Fortress stuff, those Chaos Space Marines are way bigger than your standard Chaos Space Marines and your standard Space Marines. There's been no mention made of it. They're not powered by warp juice. They're not Primaris. They're just bigger. Which begs the question, did we need the Primaris approach in the first place? Or could we have just said, these are now bigger? I'm starting to wonder if actually just saying these are bigger would have been the better way to do it. But we are in the situation we're in now. And I really can't help but feel that perhaps standard Space Marines are genuinely now on the way out. I've said it before, obviously, repeatedly. But that was a sometime in the future thing. That was a, at some point, it'll be replaced. I suppose technically it still is, but the kind of ascension of Marnius Kalgar, to me, is the... It's it's the first proper step on the road to Primaris becoming the only Space Marines. Because if you can upgrade existing Space Marines to Primaris Marines, why would you bother? with existing Space Marines. Primaris have been designed to be better in literally every single way. They're more resistant to chaos. They're bigger, they're stronger, they're faster, they've got better weapons, they've got better armor. Why would you stick with standard Space Marines? Of course, the answer, now that in the law we have someone like Marnius Kalgar becoming Primaris, is you wouldn't. And so we won't. Eventually, anyway. It'd be interesting to see how long it takes. It'd be interesting to see what kind of reaction it gets. But I think Halcar is the first step on the road to all Space Marines becoming Primaris Space Marines. I'm going to say, let me know what you think of that in the comments. And I'm assuming that the comments are not going to be happy about it. But to be honest, I'm uh, personally... Much though much though I'm kind of a bit bored of the old Space Marine range. And much though the scale has always, always, always from day one been a bit irritating to me i've never liked the fact that they're so squat that's why when i came back into the hobby i i got like a i got a strike force ultra because terminators felt more like the right scale than standard space marines um that's the main reason for it like legitimately it seemed to fix that issue to some degree i mean strike force ultra is also garbage which didn't really make them any good for tabletop but it was fun to put together and fun to paint and that's the important bit um but um, much though I've had my fill of the existing Space Marine range, it will be a shame to see it go eventually, and there will always be an element of this is the thing that that got so many people into the hobby. This is this was the face of 40k for so long, the standard Space Marine. Having it replaced with a Primaris Marine is... It feels inevitable, but also a little bit uncomfortable at the same time. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments down below. In the meantime, feel free to click Patreon, subscribe, videos, all of that shit. Click it if you like, don't click it if you don't want to. And uh, I will see you for the next video.
Toodaloo.